Over millions of years, animals have adapted and evolved an arsenal of deadly weapons to hunt, defend, and attack. Teeth, claws, antlers, electricity, stings, camouflage, odor, and poisons are all being used to devastating effect in the animal armory. Whether used in isolation or in combination, ejection and odor are potent instruments for luring and capturing prey. But that is just the beginning. In the animal armory, these remarkable abilities empower animals to use more diverse strategies, providing defense, deterrence, escape, and attraction. Throughout the ocean, cuttlefish evade their enemies by disappearing behind an ejection of ink. So repulsive is the skunk's odor that would-be predators have learned to avoid them almost altogether. Across the wide plains of the African savanna, the notorious hyena relies on odor to maintain cohesive packs. To survive in the inhospitable Arctic tundra, muskox employ their distinctive scent to mark trails and compete for mates. Tasmanian devils are well known for their foul odor, but are now understood to utilize smell in a more surprising way. Male koalas depend on their scent glands as a first line of defense, warding off rivals from climbing into their territory. Both ejection and odor are used to devastating effect by the innovative and predatory bolus spider. And for the millipede, toxic odors are deployed in a form of chemical warfare, one that has the risk of backfiring. Among the most intelligent invertebrates on the planet, for the cuttlefish, even its ink ejections contain layers of complexity. Widely distributed throughout shallow, temperate and tropical seas, the more than 120 species of cuttlefish are rarely obvious at first glance. But when they reveal themselves, they are seen to be creatures of remarkable diversity and even more remarkable abilities. Equipped with a bag of tricks and traps that would be the envy of most animals, perhaps their deadliest weapon is their intellect. With one of the largest brain-to-body ratios of all invertebrates, these judicious cephalopods know precisely which tool to use and when. Like their squid and octopus relatives, when cuttlefish are pursued by predators, they have a famous escape strategy. Releasing a cloud of ink, the threatened cuttlefish is briefly obscured from view, all the time it needs to make a speedy getaway. With the ink containing dopamine, it is thought to temporarily paralyze the sense of smell in predators that could otherwise hunt by scent. The underwater smoke screen is created by releasing ink from specialized sacs located between the gills. But the cuttlefish can also mix its ink with mucus to create smaller, denser clouds that approximate their shape and act as decoys. Confused predators mistakenly attack these decoys while the real cuttlefish darts away unscathed. Despite their odd appearance, 
Cuttlefish are highly agile predators, feeding on crustaceans, octopuses, fish and other cuttlefish. While utilizing their mantle for jet propulsion, for the most part, cuttlefish rely on the short fin that surrounds their bodies. Resembling a bellowing skirt, this muscular fin provides maneuverability in almost any direction. Known as the chameleons of the sea, cuttlefish can alter their color as well as their texture to perfectly mimic their environment. So versatile is the cuttlefish skin that it can make flamboyant displays to scare off potential predators or flash moving patterns to effectively mesmerize their prey. Often combining their inky ejections with their talent for camouflage and extreme maneuverability, within a split second the cuttlefish can squirt a cloud of ink change its color and alter its direction, completely bamboozling pursuers. Well equipped to escape being preyed upon, cuttlefish also possess the tools to make aggressive predators. Opening their eight arms and shooting out a pair of long grabbing tentacles, they latch onto their victims with powerful sucker pads before pulling them into their beaks and paralyzing them with venom. The cuttlefish's unique cuttle bone is not actually a bone, but a porous internal shell. Providing an energy efficient method for controlling their buoyancy, cuttlefish can adjust the levels of gas and water in the chambers of this shell in order to set their position in the water column. During mating cycles, the gathered males fight to win breeding rights with females, with the victor jealously standing guard over their prize. Subordinate males can disguise themselves as females in order to sneak past the guard and gain access to the supposedly protected female. Research indicates that cuttlefish eyes are fully developed prior to birth, enabling baby cuttlefish to observe their surroundings while still in the egg. Upon hatching, it is speculated that the clever cuttlefish will excel in hunting those species it studied before emerging giving newborn cuttlefish one more advantage in their already impressive armory. When it comes to ejections and odors, there is one animal whose reputation precedes them, the skunk. The skunk family includes 10 different species and except for the two varieties of Asian stink badgers, all are found in the Americas. Ranging across a variety of wooded and grassland habitats from Canada to South America.
with each species displaying its own variation of patterns. Most skunks feature a bold and distinctive black and white coloration. Seeking to stand out rather than blend in, the skunk advertises its pungent potential as an early warning system to predators. Following the changes in season across their wide range, skunks exhibit an equally wide diet. As omnivores, they consume both plant and animal matter and are able to adapt to feed on whatever is available. Despite poor vision limiting their view to just three meters, they more than compensate with heightened senses of hearing and smell and are almost always able to find a meal. Thanks to their potent weaponized odor, predators have learnt to give skunks a wide berth. When little other food is available, canine species such as wolves or foxes may risk taking on a skunk, but such attacks are rare. The only regular danger to skunks is the great horned owl, which is capable of swooping in with such stealth that they can dispatch the unsuspecting skunk before it can discharge its heinous aroma. With a pair of highly developed scent glands on either side of their anus, Skunks produce an oily liquid made up of chemicals known as theols. Turning away from their threat, muscles around the skunk's scent glands contract to project their nauseating theol spray with great accuracy to a range of three meters. The stinking mist of the skunk's scent bomb is so foul that even the relatively insensitive human nose can detect it from over a kilometer away. And because theols are a volatile chemical compound, they decompose slowly, lingering on any surface they touch for days. Defying attempts at removal, this chemical mixture is so powerful that it can cause skin irritation and even temporary blindness. Carrying enough of the rank liquid for approximately five doses, it can take 10 days to produce another supply, leaving the skunk defenseless in the meantime. In an effort to ward aggressors away, skunks will engage in elaborate threat displays, giving their victim every chance to back down before firing their spray as a last resort. Mothers are more trigger happy with their spray. With male skunks playing no role in parenting, it is down to the females to protect their young. Firing at the slightest sign of danger, mother skunks are fierce guardians, ensuring the next generation can grow to carry on the potent legacy of their species. For Africa's most common large carnivore, the hyena, odor is an indispensable tool of their trade. Ranging across continental Africa, there are four distinctive species of hyena, the largest and most prominent of which is the spotted hyena. <laughs> 
frequently perceived as cowardly or lowly animals, spotted hyenas are lumped in with the scavengers of the savannah. And while they are not shy about opportunistically feeding on carrion, spotted hyenas are actually highly skilled hunters, obtaining the vast majority of their meat from their own kills. The use of odor, while not yet fully understood, is an important component of their collaborative success. Also known as the laughing hyena for their eerie vocalizations, spotted hyenas are not only the most social of the hyenid family, but the most social of all carnivores. With large group sizes and complex female-led social hierarchies, these collective killers depend on precise communication for their success. More effective than language, it is their odors that do the talking. Instead of urination, hyenas deposit a strong-smelling paste-like secretion on grass stalks throughout their range. Beyond simply marking territorial boundaries, individual hyenas use these deposits to communicate key information, including their sex, family group, and reproductive status. Fed by anal and sebaceous glands, a large patch of naked skin beneath the hyena's tail produces a pungent paste carrying bacterial and chemical signatures unique to the individual hyena, the paste is used for communication and territorial marking, with some hyena species able to spray their secretions to dismay would-be attackers. Despite their heavy, bear-like builds, spotted hyenas are adept runners and can reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers an hour. Working seamlessly as a team, groups of spotted hyena will engage in prolonged endurance chases, wearing their quarry down over vast distances. Renowned for their strong bite, hyenas attack with their teeth rather than their paws, and together can devour an entire kill bones and all in under half an hour. Capable of planning ahead, spotted hyenas may also elect to store food for later consumption. Competing with lions and other big cats, hyenas will seek to drive them off their kills, hoping to claim the meat for themselves. Frequently fighting over the same territories and hunting the same prey, hyenas actively attempt to kill off the young of their enemies. For the same reason, hyena cubs are vulnerable to attacks from big cats and are closely guarded by their mothers. Primarily nocturnal creatures, hyenas are most active at night, where their attuned eyesight is aided by their superior sense of smell. A source of fear among many traditional cultures, Arab folklore tells of hyenas having the power to mesmerize victims with their pheromones. Given the significance of odor to the hyena, there may be something to the legend. The Arctic, a harsh, unforgiving landscape characterized by its cool, fleeting summers 
and notorious for its seamlessly endless frozen winters. Here, it takes grit and resourcefulness to survive. Attributes the imposing muskox has in spades. And as their name suggests, odor is a significant factor in their substance. Occupying primary ranges across the Canadian Arctic and Greenland, no other hooved animal lives as far north as the musk ox. More closely related to sheep and goats than oxen, they are nonetheless built to withstand the challenges of their frigid landscape. Most obvious in their armory is their trademark outer coat of long, shaggy guard hair, providing the musk ox protection from the elements year round. A shorter undercoat is grown seasonally for added insulation during winter, while still tipping the scales at around 300 kilograms. So dense is the musk ox's coat that it conceals a somewhat slender build underneath. Living in small herds, the collective mentality of the musk ox provides perhaps their most important advantage in the Arctic, and scent is a vital part of herd living. Using pre-orbital glands around their eyes, musk ox leave odor markers along their trails, allowing herd members to locate one another when visual contact is lost. Odor plays a very different role during the fierce male dominance contests of the breeding season. Located around the genitals, the male's prepucial glands produce the rank-smelling pheromone from which the musk ox takes its name. Using their urine to distribute the scent over their abdominal fur, the bull simultaneously marks his territory against rival males and advertises his potency to females. While the bulls are the aggressors during the breeding season, for the most part, it is the cows that lead the herd. Depending on their fat reserves to successfully gestate their young and to see them through the scarce winter months, it is essential that female musk ox make the most of feeding opportunities while they last. Constantly on the move, the cows decide where the herd travels, favoring the nutritious plants and grasses of the wet lowland areas. They bolster their fat reserves for the bleak months ahead. When the merciless winter sets in, the herds migrate to higher ground. Here, the strong winds that rake the exposed terrain prevent snow from settling too deeply, and the musk ox can use their enlarged, powerful hooves to uncover the roots and lichen that will sustain them throughout this most brutal season. The odd squabble aside, the herds are less active during this period, conserving energy and maintaining a collective vigil for danger.
thanks to their size and dangerous curved horns, the musk ox has few predators to contend with in the Arctic. While polar bears may loom large, Arctic wolves are the primary concern, thought to account for up to half of all musk ox fatalities. But a tight-knit herd, linked together in great part by their use of odor, will draw ranks in order to protect their most vulnerable members and see them through to another summer. Within the animal armory, the multiple applications of ejection and odor have more than proven their worth. We have seen the intelligent predatory cuttlefish use ejection to escape predators of its own. Skunks have weaponized their overpowering odors, ejecting them to a range of three meters. More hunter than scavenger, the spotted hyena is a communal carnival, relying on scent to maintain order within the pack. <laughs> Musk ox bulls use their heady aromas to advertise their virility to females and announce challenges to rival males. Now we will see how odor has deepened our understanding of fearsome Tasmanian devils, revealing their softer side. Koalas, on the other hand, use odor in a more hostile manner, warning away unwanted intruders. Bolus spiders employ their copycat pheromones to draw unsuspecting victims into their unique glue-like ejections. And the millipede's caustic secretions not only have an unappetizing aroma, but can burn unwary predators. So named for their vicious temperament, foul-smelling and unearthly screeches, the true nature of the Tasmanian devil is only recently becoming understood and odor plays a key role in their surprisingly complex behavior. Found only on Australia's isolated island state of Tasmania, Tasmanian devils are marsupial mammals, meaning they carry their young in a pouch. Despite being the size of a small dog, they are the largest marsupial carnivores on Earth. Often heralded by a distinctively fetid smell, these diminutive predators are widely feared for their ferocity and impressive strength. The Tassie Devil's famous gape puts its imposing array of teeth on full display. Far from a welcoming gesture, it is not the aggressive performance it appears to be, instead communicating fear on the part of the devil. Another sign of a stressed devil is their smell. Emitting an offensive odor when threatened, early European settlers took this to be the devil's natural aroma, when in fact, a calm and relaxed Tasmanian devil is not smelly at all. Unless feeding, Tassie devils are generally seen as solitary creatures, but this too is a misconception.
In fact, vast and complex networks of devils occupy expansive home ranges spread across thousands of acres. With a highly attuned sense of smell, the devils rely on scent to communicate their comings and goings, minimizing conflict with their shared territories as each devil maintains their own personal space. Specialized anal scent glands produce an oily liquid serving as each devil's unique scent signature. Marking or signing their trails with their scent, networks of devils maintain a constant awareness of each other's movements and well-being without direct contact. While more multifaceted than their rancorous reputation gives them credit for, the Tasmanian devil remains an unruly beast. Feeding provides a rare opportunity for face-to-face -face interaction. But while it is a social affair, it is hardly sociable. Emitting horrendous cries heard from kilometers away, other devils within the range are called in to enjoy the feast. But an invitation is no cause for politeness, and excited squabbling is common during the meal, with adult males being the most frequent aggressors. Faster than their stocky build suggests, Tasmanian devils are capable hunters taking down prey much greater in size than they are. However, carrion and roadkill make for easier meals, and scavenging provides the majority of their diet. Their enlarged heads generate one of the most proportionately powerful bites in the animal kingdom. with sufficient force to sever thick metal wire. Chewing through bone is an easy task for a Tasmanian devil, and they can devour all trace of a corpse with ease. With no predators on their island home, the devils have no need for a quick getaway and will gorge themselves when the opportunity arises, consuming up to 40% of their own body weight within half an hour. Despite a lack of predators, Tassie devils face a range of threats in the wild, and their population is in decline. The usage of odor is helping shed light on previously unrecognized behaviors. And now that they find themselves on the endangered list, it seems these misunderstood marsupials require sympathy for the devil. Living among the trees and surviving on a diet poisonous to most other animals, the koala is an Australian anomaly with a host of unique adaptations. throughout eastern Australia's wooded coastal areas, the iconic koala bear is not a bear at all, but a marsupial, or pouched mammal. Equipped to scale eucalyptus trees and eke out a living from their highly toxic and nutritionally poor leaves, they are armed with the tools to successfully exploit a niche in their environment. While not immediately apparent, Odor is significant among these tools. Facing little competition over their preferred food source, 
for the simple reason that it would kill other animals. The koala's specialized digestive system creates a bacteria to neutralize the eucalyptus poison, while an elongated gut breaks down the tough leaves. Scent also plays an important role. With a koala's highly sensitive nose detecting fluctuations in toxicity among the leaves, it is ensured that they do not bite off more than they can safely chew. With a metabolic rate half that of a typical mammal's, it is vital that koalas conserve their limited energy resources. To resolve this problem, the solution is simple. Sleep, and lots of it. Safe from predators on the ground, Koalas in their aerial perches have the remarkable ability to slumber up to 22 hours a day. During their waking hours, koalas are surprisingly mobile. Needing to eat around a kilogram of leaves a day, they must change trees frequently and are often forced to cover considerable distance on the ground when an area's resources become depleted. Vulnerable to predators such as dingoes, these forays on terra firma are highly dangerous for koalas and are generally kept to a minimum. But adult males can be driven to riskier journeys when searching for a mate. With the scent glands exposed through hairless patches on their chests, male koalas produce a secretion containing a complex chemical mixture of over 40 compounds. Depositing this odor around the tree trunk as he climbs, the male simultaneously stakes his claim to the tree whilst advertising his presence to any females in the area. Despite a cuddly appearance, Koalas are asocial creatures, and for the most part, the only two koalas that tolerate each other are mothers and their babies. With poor eyesight, odor marking provides an unmissable warning sign for this assertively solitary species, keeping physical disputes to a minimum, and thus preserving their limited energy. Coated in the most insulated fur of any marsupial, koalas are effectively shielded against the extremes of the Australian climate. While the white fur on their bellies can reflect solar radiation during heat waves, they are also highly resistant to wind and rain. When the cold does set in, koalas will curl into tight balls in order to stay warm and conserve energy. Eating an otherwise toxic food source has its advantages. Consuming such volumes of eucalyptus leaves, koalas have taken on a distinctive odor from their oil, similar to that of cough drops. Thus they are afforded a natural insect repellent and are rarely affected by external parasites. And because the leaves have a high water content, koalas rarely need to drink, avoiding dangerous trips to the ground unless it is absolutely necessary. Nocturnal animals, much of the koala's life is hidden from sight.
With their proclivity for sleep and acute teddy bear facade, the hardship of the koala's existence and their adaptations to meet their challenges are easy to overlook. But in the animal armory, looks are deceiving. And just as their use of odor remains widely unrecognized, the koala's cuteness belies the rugged survivor beneath. Throughout a range of wooded habitats across Africa, America and Australasia, is to be found over 60 species of tiny spider employing an ingenious combination of odor and ejection. So effective is the bola spider's deceptive techniques for luring and capturing their prey that they don't even need a web. Nocturnal creatures, each species of bola spider is dedicated to hunting its own particular species of moth. Beginning by building a horizontal trapeze line, the cunning spider will hang motionless while emitting an odor that perfectly matches the sex pheromone of the moth they feed on. Dangling their bolus, a sticky capture blob of silk, they await the arrival of their unsuspecting prey. Also known as angling spiders for their resemblance to fishermen, when the approaching wing beats of a moth are detected, they swing their line and effectively hook their meal. Known as aggressive chemical mimicry, the bolus spider emits a cocktail of chemicals to simulate the sex pheromones of their desired species of moth. The bolus itself is a complex structure consisting of flexible protein fibers and dual-layered viscous droplets to form an adhesive ball. Once ensnared, the helpless moth is reeled in and dispatched with a venomous bite. Quickly binding their prey in swathes of silk, the meal is strung up for later consumption, allowing the spider to return to the hunt. Altering the false pheromones that they emit over the course of the night, these exceptional spiders precisely adjust their alluring odor in order to maximize their catch. Descended from one of the first animals to breathe air, millipedes carry on an ancient lineage, with odor forming the cornerstone of an armory that has withstood the test of time. Occupying almost all terrestrial habitats, Millipedes are extremely resilient and resourceful invertebrates. While the name of these armor-plated creepy crawlies derives from the Latin for thousand feet, no known millipede actually has this many legs. Exhibiting a wide variety of shapes and sizes, millipedes are distinguished by carrying two pairs of legs per body segment. 
But that's not all their bodies carry, with many species equipped with stink glands running the length of their flanks. A robust and diverse species, there are approximately 12,000 types of millipede, each with a unique set of tools and skills to thrive within their given environment. With a preference for the moist conditions of the forest undergrowth, many millipede species do just as well on the dry desert sands. The first animals to colonize the land, the fossil record shows that millipedes emerged from the water and adapted to breathe air over 400 million years ago. A significant head start in evolving their odorous defenses. Millipedes are primarily detritivores, consuming dead plant matter such as decaying leaves. A clever dietary adaptation, it provides an abundant food source in most habitats and means that millipedes serve an important role in aiding decomposition within their ecosystems. But moving slowly through the undergrowth, their diet places millipedes at risk of predation, and they rely heavily on their stinky emissions for protection. Lacking pincers for fighting, millipedes do not possess a sting, and their bite is good for little more than munching on leaf litter. Opting for neither flight nor fight, most threatened millipedes will curl into a ball, protecting their soft belly with their hardened exoskeleton. This defensive posture can be held until the attacker loses interest, persuaded in no small measure by the millipedes off-putting and even poisonous secretions. Microscopic stink glands, known as ozopores, run along the sides of the millipede's body. Releasing a mixture of irritants and toxic chemicals, the ozopores' secretions not only emit foul-smelling and tasting odors, but can burn the exoskeletons of insects, as well as the eyes and skin of larger predators. As effective as the millipedes' hazardous ejections may be, they are not foolproof. Crafty predators such as meerkats have learned to flip millipedes around in order to remove their defensive discharge before eating them. And in some cases, the millipedes' chemical warfare has completely backfired, with primates deliberately antagonizing the poor creatures before using their secretions as insect repellent. Despite their odorous defenses having an Achilles heel, the indomitable millipede has more legs to stand on and continues to maintain a stronghold in its vast and diverse territories around the world. The crafty cuttlefish utilizes a range of tactics to hunt in the ocean, its inky ejections keeping it safe when the tables are turned. 
Combining ejection and odor, the skunk can fire its sickening stink with practiced precision. More than the scavengers they are made out to be, hyenas employ odor as a means of communication in their complex societies. Musk ox endure the unforgiving Arctic, using scent to establish breeding rights and to mark the way for the herd. For the ferocious Tasmanian devil, odor has only recently been revealed to maintain their secretive societies. More aggressive than they appear, male koalas intimidate rivals by marking their territories with secretions from their chests. An aromatic arachnid, the bolus spider lures prey by mimicking their pheromones before ensnaring them with a unique ejection. And the ancient millipede deters and even injures would-be predators with a noxious discharge. Where we have evolved intellectually, animals keep adapting physically, granting them the powerful weaponry found 